Hi guys and welcome back. So we're going to be doing another day in the life sort of type vlog, but we're in the workshop again today. Um, we are making some more doors, but they're going to be completely different, a lot easier than the last ones we made. We're matching up with, if I take you over to the iPad here and flip you around. So, one second. So you can see on the iPad here, we need to make a door for this cupboard. This cupboard needs replacing with another door and we're gonna be matching them up so these are the existing doors for the property. It's quite an old property, so we, yeah, we're matching up with these. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Down that TNG, you can see there's a cockbead detail on there. So we're gonna be putting them in with them. We've got all of our material here. So yes, it's not old timber. Uh, she didn't want to stretch for reclaimed timber. She just wanted them nice and fresh. They will age down eventually, but um, yeah, and that's what we're going to be making. So not going to be massively detailed in this. It's just going to be following along what I'm doing throughout the day. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with it and we'll uh, get all of this stuff machined up and get these together. And there will be a follow-up video, another day in the life type one of me actually installing these doors and I've got loads of other stuff to do in the property, loads of bits of beading and you know, all sorts going on, bits of architrave to put on and bits and pieces. So yeah, should be quite interesting. Subscribe if you're not to follow along with all of this stuff because it's gonna be good. Right guys, so I've just uh, run a little test on these two little bits of scrap here. So you can see I've put the cock bead on there and then put my groove in and then there's my tongue piece and they slot together nicely, but I don't like the fact that when they're put up, you see we've got a quirk here, but we haven't on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run everything to this setting here, and then I'm gonna put this piece back through and just take a little rebate out in there, just so it creates that shadow gap on both sides. So that's what we're aiming for. So I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna put all my tongues on, like you can see here, ignore that groove on that side, put all my tongues on, and then I can actually cut all of these to the right width, or all of them I should say, to the right width, and then we'll put our grooves through, and we should be good to go. Okay guys, so you can see I've got my doors all laid out here. Now at the minute we've only put the tongues on because <laughs> the, these were confusing me a little bit because we had to establish where we're going to put tongues and moulding. So you can see I just went through and I tongued all of the boards to start with. But we actually need to cut that tongue off because you imagine that's the edge of the door. We don't need that tongue. And then I've gone through and I've put on, hopefully you can see that, I've got like 2A and then a G, so that's like, this is door number two, this is board A, and it needs a groove on this side, 2B, groove on that side, and blah, 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 as you go, and then on the end one here, I've put 2E, no G, because <laughs> obviously we don't want a groove on the end of the door, and we don't want the cock bead on there, so we can just go through and establish what we need on each door, so yeah, it was just getting a little bit confusing, but that's going to help us knowing what to do. So now what I need to do, now that we've got our tongues, if I show you on this one, now we've got our tongues, I can measure from this shoulder and rip all of these down to width. Then we can put our cock bead on, then our groove and so on and so forth. So yeah, next thing is to put all of these through the table saw and get them all ripped.
Okay, guys, so that's the doors to this stage. Now, you saw me, I run this little uh, cock bead on here, and then I grooved out these. So they're all looking pretty together at the minute. But like I said, I'm not happy with the fact that we've got a shadow detail here and we haven't got a shadow detail here. So I'm just going to put a little tiny rebate on there just to match that because when these are all stained up or varnished up or whatever she does waxes up it's just going to look a lot nicer we've got the same detail on both of them so yeah a little shadow gap to go in there and then um i need to put the cock bead on our braces that go across cock bead on them and then we can get these together pretty simple really okay guys so we've got the door roughly assembled one of them anyway the other one's just off here, off shot here. Um, I've got my back braces now. On the original doors, they didn't have this cock bead on here, but I just thought it looked a bit nicer, so I thought I'd add them. You're never gonna see them because they're gonna be inside cupboards, but I just thought I'd uh, dress them up a little bit like that. So the original doors, because they're full height 1980 doors, they had four um, braces on them. But I've only done three on these because these are only just over 1500 tall. So I think three looks better than four. So I'm gonna put one 100 mil up from the bottom of the door, one 100 mil down, and then stick this one in the middle of the door. And I'm gonna screw and pellet these just to hold them all together. So that's my next step now. So let's get that done. There we have it guys, that's the doors all made up, as you can see there. I've left them over length because um, I've got to shoot them in anyway, so what's the point in cutting the tops off when I've got to shoot them? So yeah, I'm leaving it there. They will be part of another day in the life video, where, like I said, I've got quite a few little tiny jobs to do at the property, but fitting these two is like part of that day anyway, so that's gonna to be tomorrow, but you won't see it tomorrow. You'll obviously see it when I edit it and get it up. Um, probably next week maybe something like that um, but yeah really happy with how they come out I think they look really good actually to be honest for some bits of pine that are jointed together a little bit more involved in that as you saw but um, yeah anyway I'm gonna leave it there guys thank you guys for watching if you could do me a massive favor if you watched this part of the video like you know we're working our way through the fruit bowl at the minute we're not quite in the fruit bowl still but if you can just write the word pineapple down in the comments below right below the like button really helps me know who's got this far in the video helps the algorithm everything else like that yeah see if you can do that hit that subscribe button because obviously you're going to want to see the next video of me fitting these within everything else that i'm going to be doing in this property as well like i said there's loads of niggly little jobs that need doing in there like little bits of trim and bead and some architrave and bits and pieces that need putting on and hanging these two bad boys here but yeah i'm going to leave it there guys thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe to follow along pineapple in the comments and i'll see you on the next one cheers hi guys so just a quick one added on to the end of this video because i was going to do a day in the life of fitting these doors but um it just didn't happen <laughs> so i'm going to flip you around i'll show you the doors quickly so there's the door in its place i'll put a nice bit of architrave around it recess the hinges behind it and there's the original door that come off of it and you can see it was in a pretty bad state so yeah i don't think that's a bad match for uh that obviously it needs to age down a bit and there's the original doors there that we was also matching up with although these are wider boards but 
There you go, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks.